Hey, good morning, guys. Johnny Sunshine here. Tuesday morning, the 2nd of January. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, it's about 10, 20 past 8. I'm heading up to Moffitt right now for my uh, two-week... Uh, visit. Hopefully they're going to take these stitches out of my face today. Um, we'll get an idea of what what's going to happen going forward. I think everything's been... This fucking guy, man. What the fuck, asshole? You got to drive right up on my fucking ass? Fucking dumb motherfucker. Fucking people, man. Let's start this one over. Ah, take two. Take two. January 2nd. Hey, guys. I'm going to start over. I'm on my way up to Moffitt. Got a, got this fucking guy, another guy almost ran right into the back of me. The fuck is wrong with these people, man? Let's do a take three. Hey, good morning, guys. Johnny Sunshine here. Full of piss and vinegar. My nose is doing okay, I gotta say. The redness has gone down substantially it's not beet red uh i've been lucky so far with uh haven't had any infections or anything bust open i've done a really good job of making sure nobody hits my nose that nobody being me or gussie gussie tends to like to swing his head around and show his love for me yeah, sometimes it fucking hurts, man. Love hurts. You ever hear that one? Yeah. Anyways, I'm heading up to Moffitt. If I can get there without some asshole in a fucking big truck running into the back of me. Uh, hopefully get these stitches out today. And get a, a plan on how we're going to move forward. Uh, I can see that. The traffic is a little crazy, pent up. Everybody's driving a little faster, a little little more on edge, it seems like, this morning. Uh, so I'm just going to lay back and uh, not, not get into the f crazy flow of things. Um, happy 2024, guys. We made it. Yep, the world didn't come to an end in 2023. Didn't come to an end in 2020 with COVID. Uh, someday I'll get back to doing plumbing videos. In the meantime, we'll just, you know, this will be uh, life in the big city. I'm just one plumber with one set of ailments, probably caused by my uh, work history, being a boiler technician in the Navy, down in the bottom of a ship, surrounded by fuel and oil and um, all kinds of nasty shit. Uh, then I got out, went in the Navy, I mean... Uh, became a plumber for you young guys out there I want to tell you man when I when I got out of the Navy I think I was 24 uh, and I decided that I wasn't going to be bouncing around man you got to pick a trade you got to pick what you're going to do and stick with it you can't you know put two three years in somewhere doing something and then go start over somewhere else at the bottom of the ladder you know Stick, stick with it, man. 
pick out what you're going to do, especially in your 20s. By the time you're 25, man, you really need to have something. Uh, you need to have made that decision on what you're going to do for a living. Uh, if, you, if you're continually starting over, it's not going to work for you in the end, man. Do what you do what you want, but uh, <laughs> this fucking guy, this guy on a motorcycle, he's got his fat head squished into this uh, helmet, and uh, his fucking cheeks look like ass cheeks bubbling out of where the it's like a couple of ass cheeks with a fucking nose coming out of it. Mm, nobody knows. Yeah. All right, so hopefully it'll be good news. I think it will be. This guy he won't uh, won't be so nervous when he the last time he looked at my nose, he was like, "Wow, that's pretty fucking red. Never saw that before." Mm. That's always encouraging, you know. Twenty twenty four guys might be a big year for me. It's up to me. I'm going to have to make that decision. But it may be time, man, to uh, set myself up for the rest of my life, you know. Sell my house while I can. Where it will put me in a position where I can buy a house and uh, not worry about bills, you know what I'm saying? Mortgage payments all that fun shit. I don't want to answer to anybody, you know? I'm going to buy a fucking house and uh, not have to insure it. You know, it's going to be a risk, but kind of using what my mom did when she was 65 moving to Florida. She came here with about 300 grand and uh she lived her life out pretty well. Anyways. Um, a little foggy today. It's a little early for me. I've been sleeping till like 10 o'clock. 10 or 11 o'clock. <coughs> now I'm out here on the highway. At race. And you know the old saying. Even if you win the rat race. You're still a fucking rat. Yeah. Remember that one, guys. Even if you win the rat race, you're still a fucking rat. <sighs> All right, guys. Johnny Sunshine here. Just leaving Moffat. Got my stitches out. Uh, the, the, the doctor who took the stitches out, man, they were really stuck in my face, man. That shit is not fun. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, man. So anyways, she looked at my face and she's like, I don't, why are we have, why are you going in for surgery again on the, on the 18th? She was questioning whether I needed that or not. She said, why don't we just let it. Uh, do its thing and uh, go from there maybe in six months if we need to go back in and clean something up we can do that so that that's good news uh, did get all the stitches removed on the side of my head uh, my nose with the tip of my nose getting them things out man they, they became part of my body and uh, they didn't want to come out man I don't know if she got them all out. I think she pulled them out a little bit and snipped them and left them in there. So, I don't know. It wasn't a lot of fun, I can tell you that. But, uh, it's good news. I'm heading home now. Sounds like I could probably get back to work, man. Um, 
you know, I probably will take the rest of this week off and then try to get back to doing something, man. Uh, I got a call today. A friend of mine's got a stoppage, mainline stoppage. And a kid who used to work for me, he owns his own business now. He's going to grab that. He's going to take care of them for me because they're really good customers like family. <laughs> like family. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so that's good news, man. I'm heading back to Sarasota. And uh, we'll see. I'll keep you informed, but things are looking up. 2024, let's get them, boys. Let's get them, you can't keep a good man down. And I will say that this, this doctor, she was gorgeous, man. Italian. Just a beautiful example of an Italian woman. She was beautiful, man. Smart. I'm so impressed with these young people that work at Moffitt, man. Uh, this girl, you know she was sharp. You know what I mean? She's a plastic surgeon. Uh, got a fucking great job. You don't get hired on here unless you're a badass. I can tell you that. Um... And she's a badass, I can tell. So, anyways, have a great day. We'll see what we can get into before I post this. Uh, thanks for hanging in there, guys. I know uh, my posts for the last couple of weeks don't have much to do with plumbing, but really, they do. Uh, this is what happens when you... Uh, could happen if you're a plumber and you're not doing what you're supposed to do, which I didn't. I just ran with it. No, no sunscreen. Uh, really didn't take think much about me and my preservation. My whole career, uh, I dive into shit that nobody should be diving into. Uh, unfortunately. Maybe this will save a couple of guys, make you think. Uh, but we're kind of, I think we're the, we're plumbers are, are the kind of guys that are like, let me add that motherfucker, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just part of who we are. Um, anyways, alright, I'm going to let you go before I get in an accident.